This is a fun animation I built for a client website. It's basically a teetering coin animation. It's pretty simple to build. So I'm gonna show you how to build it in Webflow right now with the built-in interactions. So let's hop into Webflow. You can see from my section, I added a little bit of padding on the bottom to leave a little bit of room here for this roller. So I'm gonna add a div, I'm gonna call it roller, and I'm gonna set it as absolute positioning and position it to the bottom. I'm gonna set it to 120 viewport width, and then I'm gonna go ahead and add a black background and I'm also going to add a height of 300 pixels if you see in the clonable I set all the sizing to rem but for this tutorial I'm just gonna keep it simple and use pixels and then I'm gonna go ahead and add 150 pixel to the bottom also make sure that the hero section overflow is set to none and then the last thing here with our roller we're going to set the left positioning of negative 10 viewport width the reason why we're doing this is when we add a rotate animation we don't want it to be cut off at the edges and so we need it to be a little bit wider than 100 viewport width and then we need to pull it to the left to make sure that it's even in the middle okay we got the roller set up let's go ahead and add an image and i'm going to call this one my coin dash large and i'm going to choose an image and i'm going to select my pirate coin i'm going to set it to a width of 30 viewport width and then i'm going to set it to positioning absolute and i'm going to set it to the top right then what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a negative 30 viewport width to the top and that'll get it to sit right there on the bottom. And then I'm going to go ahead and add another coin. So I'm going to copy paste. I'm going to duplicate the class and call it coin small. And I'm going to set this one to be four viewport width. And then I'm going to do the same here. Just match this top position to the width. I'm gonna call it negative four viewport width. And then I'm gonna do on the right side, 24 viewport width to get the coin small to match up here with the coin large. All right, so we've got all of this set up here. And what we can do now is we can add a new interaction. And we're gonna add two of them. We'll start with one page load interaction. So the reason why we're doing two of them is because Webflow's interactions are not set up like a video editor timeline. It's more so set up to say, I want this to start now for this duration. And you can't really add other interactions in between those. And so I'm adding two of them to keep things simple. I'm gonna start a new animation, add a timed animation. We'll call this one our roller animation. And we'll start out by make sure the roller selected. We'll start out by adding a rotate of negative four degrees and we'll set as initial state. So it's just gonna start there and then we'll duplicate it and we'll say four degrees and we'll say five duration and then we're going to add an easing factor of ease in out and that's just to make sure that it doesn't come to a complete halt and then just turn around right away we want it to kind of ease in and ease out and then we're going to duplicate that one more time and we'll call this one negative four degrees make sure it's five seconds and ease in out factor and we should be good here just set it to loop and you can preview it and it should go back and forth a couple times Okay, let's go ahead and add another page trigger, page load, same thing, start an animation, new timed animation. We'll call this one our coin animation. And here's where we're actually gonna add the coin movements and rotations. So let's start with our coin large, and we're gonna set it to a move of negative 12 viewport width on the X. Same thing, we'll do five seconds for each of these, and then we'll do ease in out to match the roller animation. And then I'm just gonna duplicate this and bring it back to zero so that it goes negative 12 for five seconds, and then it comes back to zero. Now we can go ahead and add a rotation to this coin large and it's gonna rotate on the Z axis, negative 40 degrees. And then we're just gonna make sure it matches up with this coin large. So five seconds, ease in out. And then we can duplicate it and bring it up to that move factor right there. Same thing, five seconds, ease in out, and then bring it back to zero degrees to bring it back to where it originally started. Now we can go ahead and do the same thing with the coin small and we'll go ahead and add a move five duration ease in out and it's going to rotate negative 260 degrees and again just bring it up here to make sure it starts at the same time and we can do the same thing here with the coin small so we can add a move on the x-axis of negative 80 viewport width and i'm going to do again duration of five ease in out and make sure that is stacked up here at the starting at the same time as these others 
and then we're gonna bring it back to zero after five seconds. So five seconds, ease in, out, and then match it up here with these bottom three. Then we're gonna add a rotate for this coin small, five seconds, ease in, out. And for this one, it's gonna be spinning pretty quickly since it's a lot smaller. And so we're gonna do on the Z axis, negative 2600. And then we'll copy and paste it or duplicate it and match it up with these other ones and then bring it back to zero after five seconds. So if we save it and we hit loop preview, we should see this looking nice and it is. And so if you want to hit the play button here to see how it's looking combined with the roller animation, it's looking pretty spanking good. So that is how to do this coin roller teetering interaction in Webflow. If you wanna see more videos like this, please let me know. This one was a little bit different, but it's kind of fun to share some client work with you guys. And hopefully you guys can use this for your work. We'll see you in the next video, guys. Bye.